Hi there, it's Deb Evans. Today we're going to look at LinkedIn. We're going to look at the basics. We're going to look at all the features that LinkedIn offers that I think a lot of people bypass. They just go on, look at their profile, do an update, stalk other people. But let's take a look at LinkedIn and let's go through it from the very top to bottom, left to right. So minimize my camera. When you log into LinkedIn, this is what's called your homepage. So you land here look here let's start over to the left side of linkedin and let's go through all the features that it offers so you'll see your picture uh your caption underneath it you get to look to see how many people who have viewed your profile and views of any posts that you've done recently you can also try the premium for a month my recommendation is to get to know LinkedIn, know all it has to offer before you jump in and you pay for the services. I, I've been a LinkedIn member for, oh my God, I don't even know how long, 20 years, whenever LinkedIn first started, and I have never paid for a service. Not to say that it's not worthy, you may need those features, so you can certainly look at them. You'll get a synopsis here of the pages that you manage on LinkedIn. Your hashtags, and we'll talk about hashtags later, so you've got recent hashtags uh, that you've used for searching or that you use in your posts. So it's good hashtags are the thing. Groups, this is groups. There are a lot of LinkedIn groups, just like Facebook groups that you can participate in and be part of, whether you're like, yeah, just stalking or learning or actually wanna make comments and share. So I definitely would take a look at the groups and the areas uh, that interest you. You've got events. So if you set up an event on LinkedIn, it'll show up here. And then again, the follow hashtag. So that's all there you have there on the left side. Let's go to the right side before we hit the center. So you've got LinkedIn news. Lots of news reports there. Today's most viewed courses. LinkedIn offers a lot of courses on just about anything. So I would say check them out. They're reasonably priced. A lot of times you can get some free courses. So it's worth checking out and see what you've got. You've got your promoted ads over here. And then um, you have the ability to actually uh, add your own ads. So that's your right side. This is the center. Of LinkedIn. This is where a lot of the action happens. This is where you can start a post. You can add a photo, you can do a video, you can um, add goals, write an article. So take advantage of LinkedIn. Just don't take time to like, scroll through the post, comment on them. Uh, the more you comment on other people's uh, posts, the more you're in front of, of their followers. So, you know, it, it takes some time with LinkedIn. You'll see right here in the small little area it says sort by top or sort by recent. It'll should default to the top. So it's going to tell you the top posts, ones that have gotten attention or their ads. You can see I'm scrolling through here um, and you'll see the top post for the day. So I got distracted and wanted to read the post. You can also then switch from top to recent. So if I do the recent, like for example, I usually log into LinkedIn in the morning and I'll scroll through the recent post or the top post and I'll do all that. Maybe if I'm back on again in the afternoon as I am now, I might just go directly to the most recent. It's whatever your preference and however you want to take a look at it. So, you know, this one was just posted one minute ago, so I didn't miss anything. Um, this one was a promoted one. You can see it's right here. It says promoted, so that's an ad. Again, a minute ago. So you can spend a lot of time sitting here and scrolling through these posts. This is where, again, when you come on to LinkedIn.com, where you're going to start your own post. I'd say definitely try to add a photo, add a video, give some meat to it, and definitely consider writing articles. And we can come back and talk about articles. Now you're gonna look at LinkedIn, the center bar up here at the top. First thing I'm gonna say is um, 
check out, we are on the home. Okay, then you can look at your my network. So these are the invitations that I've received over the last um, couple of days or since I last looked at it. I see this one came in. Uh, it's, oh, she's got an event. So this popped up. I wanted to know if I wanted to attend an event. So here are all your invitations in the center. There are online events that you might want to take a look at and attend. You can view them and you can consider if you want to attend them or not. If you come over to the far left, manage my network. Here are your connections. This is how you can find them. Here are your contacts. People follow. So let's just click on people follow. So I follow, um, it said 64, I think I follow folks that I'm not connected to, but I follow them. So I get their news feed. A lot of times they're celebrities or you know someone most times like uh, Richard Brunson or Shep you know in digital marketing that I follow Simon Sinek all great people to follow what I should do is come through here and look and it's like okay Guy Kawasaki I've known him for years he is a celebrity I do follow him I haven't a clue why I followed him and I'm just going to go ahead and click unfollow. If I ever want to come back, I can find them and I can follow them again. So you don't have to connect to somebody. You can follow their post. So I do need to come back and check that out. So let's just click done for right now. Go back to, so I was on network. So we've looked through the network. Now let's look at jobs. If you're on LinkedIn specifically because you're searching for a job, here's where you need to you'll find all your information um, it will default to your area so you can see that Denver Colorado is the area that I live in so it's defaulted to that and it's showing me what's going on I'll tell you I'm not looking for a job right now but I do come here and I look to see what's being posted who's hiring and it's great for references too if I know or have a friend that's looking for a job um, specifically in my area, then I can come here and say, oh, you know, hey, did you find uh, this information about the virtual chief operating officer? So I've sent this information to a lot of my connections. Messaging. This is where, obviously, you can message your connections. Uh, so all my messages are over here on the left. You see people that I've talked to recently. The other thing about messaging is, um, do you see this green dot here on Justin's? This indicates he's currently online. So he and I have messaged before. And it's like if I want to send him a message now, I bet, you know, if I popped him a note, he would see it. So the, I don't see anybody else with a green dot right now. But most people are, you know, pretty active on LinkedIn and the message will go directly to their inbox. These are the actual messages or where you can actually start a message. Again, you've got promoted ads over here on the right. So if you did a promoted ad, this is probably where you would see it, um, where your prospect would see it, either in their messaging as well as on their homepage. Your notifications is next. Uh, I went through my notifications this morning, most of them. So it says I don't have any new ones. Um, you, I can change my settings for my notifications. Here are the ones that came up most recently, 28 minutes ago. Uh, it looks like Courtney Moore starting a new position. Okay. Um, so there are your messages, or there's your notifications, and you can certainly, you know, respond to them, congratulate them. And again, we've got promoted ads. Now, before I go to this me section, which we're going to do a lot of work here, let's look at the work. So this tab takes you again to the learning section, takes you to your insights. You can post a job, you can find leads, your groups, your profinder, your salary. I didn't put any salary information in there. I, I don't want LinkedIn to know what I might be looking for. Uh, let's see, I need to move my screener down a little bit there. The other thing that it's really of interest is if you do not have a face, I'm sorry, a LinkedIn page, down here is where you click and you create a company page. So let's put screener back up and let's go to the fun part, the me. So if you want to make changes or updates to your profile, this is where you're going to do it. One of the things 
started to mention it earlier and then I came back to it. Your LinkedIn URL. So I'm going to click View Profile. If you click your View Profile and your LinkedIn URL is LinkedIn.com, Deb Evans, 0156799, you know, numbers, then you don't have a custom URL. You want to take care of that now, today, first thing. And to do that, you just click Edit Public Profile and URL over here. It gives you, it tells me right here that I already have a, a custom URL. The reason I have 01 is because when I did join LinkedIn, there was already a Deb Evans. So I had to go with 01 or a different number. You can choose what you want. Here's where you can um, edit your public profile in sections. Mine's pretty open. I, I keep the visibility to where anybody can see it. And anytime I post, I allow people to see my visibility. It used to be when you started LinkedIn, you really kept the button down. You didn't want anybody unless your own connections could see what you were posting. And today, you know, the reason you're posting on LinkedIn is to be visible. So I keep mine pretty public. Um, I let them know, you know, my name, number of connections. That's a requirement here and the region that I'm in. So here, see is where I have it public. If you only wanted your first degree connections, only members that are directly connected to you to see your information, you would click this. And you've got other options, but again, I'm pretty public. I show everything. You don't have to, but I do. So I love to see my headline, my websites, my summary, everything. And every one of these items here, you have access to, and they should be visible at least on your LinkedIn profile for your connections to see. That's when you can get your LinkedIn at 100%. So I'm scrolling back up and I'm going to come over here to the middle. This is where you can put a website. I've taken my website down because I am retired, semi-retired. <laughs> um, so I don't have that there. I have an about section probably needs to be updated. You should look at yours about every six months, give it an update. These are articles that I've written. Now I was faithful about writing an article every few months. I have not written one since I declared I was retired. Might write one here soon, but these are the articles that folks can see that I've written. This is the activity. So this is what I've done for the day, or the last couple days, if I've liked a comment, if I've commented on something, um, I've, this is what my activity is going to show. Your experience should be completed. You should also have, um, if you have a logo here, this means that I have a company page, and if I were to click here, it's going to redirect directly to the company page. So when I was a franchise owner, you clicked here, it would direct, redirect you right to the franchise um, page itself. So it gives a viewer some more information. So scrolling down, you know, I've got all my experience, my education, volunteer experience, all of this is completed. Recommendations, definitely something that you should ask for and you should give on a regular basis. So I'm gonna scroll back up. And let's see, I'm going to move this up so you can see. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the edit area. So I'm back on the LinkedIn page. You know, I clicked here and redirected us to where I could make all the edits. I can still edit using my pencils here. One thing about LinkedIn is it gives you options to find things in more places than one. So you could tell I was on the edit profile and I had where I had the pencils and I can make correct uh, updates. And I'm back here again on the profile page. So I was here, view my profile so you don't get lost. That's where I am. All right, this is the about section. So again, you can pencil here, you can make changes. Features, fairly new. Um, you definitely have it. So um, if you don't see it, I believe you can go over here to more and then you can scroll down and tell you where you can make it active. These are the uh, articles. So you can either 
articles that I've written, I'm sorry. So you can either feature the articles that you've written or you can actually feature um, posts that somebody else has done. So I'm a big um, fan of Big B Coffee. Uh, I promote them. I love them. I drink the coffee. I have auto ship. Yada, yada, yada. I'm just not a franchisee yet. Uh, so I do like this article. So I featured it in on my own LinkedIn. Your dashboard. You can see here, I'm an all-star. That means I've got 100% completed on my LinkedIn profile. This is your goal to get 100% done. This is private to me, public to you right now, since I'm doing a video. You can see who's viewed your profile. You can see post views. You can see search appearances. So let's just check search appearances. So I can see where people have uh, searchers where they work. So click, click marketing, Queensland Health, Plant Moran. I know folks there, franchise Auntie Anne. So it's, it's pretty interesting to see who searched and why you came up and then it tells you a little bit about your searches, you know, what what they were searching for and why my name appeared. Photographer, no idea why in, when they were searching and they were looking for a photographer and they landed on my page. Don't know. Uh, keywords, retired. So there you go. Let's scroll back up. I'm gonna hit the back arrow. Now let's see if it takes me back. Very good, where I was, so we have to scroll back down. Again, salary insights, I do not complete that. You certainly can. This is your activity. So if I say see all activity, this will tell me, and if anyone that lands on my page and they say see activity, they can see what it is that I've either commented on or liked or made a reference to. So, and again, I know um, when you do comment, which I think I commented on here, let's just take this one for example, there's eight comments. Mm, maybe I didn't. If I were to comment here, then my comment would be in the stream as I'm searching through and say, well, oh, wow, you know what? I don't know Cliff Kennedy. Maybe I wanna click on that uh, profile, learn a bit more about Cliff Kennedy, father, husband first, business owner second, spreading happiness across the country, uh, one pop-up at a time. I bet he's connected to Big B somehow. Let's just check, Let's see if I can click on his profile. Okay, ta-da. Uh, no, he's not, Gourmet Pops. Now, let's talk about connecting. If I want to connect to Cliff, we would click connect and you always add a note at tell Cliff why I was curious about his, his profile, why I wanted to connect. I'm not trying to give him a sales pitch. I just wanted to say hello and connect to him. So that's the easiest way of connecting and why you want to comment on people's posts. I'll click my back arrow. Why you want to click on people's posts so that you can see, um, it, you want to click on it, you want to comment on it, so that hopefully in your comments you've drawn some uh, attention to yourself and why um, they might want to learn more about you, just as, you know, I got curious and wanted to click on clips. Over here to the right, we have interest. You've got your influencers. Looks like I'm already following Bill Gates and Gary Vee. Travis. I remember why I'm following Travis, but again, I have to go through there and check it out. Here are some of the companies that I'm following. We'll click on all of them in just a minute. Schools of interest and again, groups. So let's click on companies. So these are the, the companies. Uh, they could be franchise companies. They could be, um, you know, like P PwC, LinkedIn, companies you're following. And what happens is that when they post, you're going to get their post in your stream. So that's some of the uh, articles that you get. Really like to use it as research, keeping in the know of what's going on in franchising and the tech world and the digital media. Let me look at my notes. I think very quickly, I covered all the basics. So number one priority is this URL at the top. 
Make sure it has your name to get there when you land on the home page. It's a little slow. You're going to click on your picture over here, which you better have a picture. I'll come get you if you don't. You're going to view your profile. You're going to take care of the URL first up here. You're going to get a cover. You're going to maybe put some um, interest here. You know, I do social media advisor, consultant, trainer, profile picture here, and then slowly go through your profile and make sure you're at All Star. The one thing about LinkedIn, when you're not at All Star, tips will come up and it will ask you, do you want to fill out the about section? So say yes, do it. And then it'll give you the next tip. So it really helps you to get all the way to be an all-star on LinkedIn. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to connect with me here on LinkedIn. Pop me a message. Happy to help anytime. And um, I'd be curious to let me know if you found this useful. If there's something I missed, because I did go through it very quickly, uh, let me know. Happy to do another recording for you specifically if needed. But in the meantime, I hope to see you on LinkedIn.